Happy New Year, Year Heathlands, and welcome, welcome to, to 2022. Th- it's week 57 at Heathlands at Home Extended Broadcast too. And I'm sure you're aware that that we're, we're, we're back and um, it's um, somebody's birthday today, I could understand. Do you have any idea who? It is my lovely co-host over here. Mark Greener's birthday. Hey. So happy birthday to you, Mark Greener, and Benny Beanie as well. I won't forget they share the same birthday. We make make it so, so we share the same birthday. Benny, come out. Come out. You got too excited there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so happy birthday, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. And let's go let's get on with the show so far with this week we've had. We've had a classic Nix exercise session on Monday at 11.15. This was just uh, pre-record. Art Live with Helen Tuck was on Monday at 1pm. With This week was a, tr- a trio of or- 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 origami tutorials from 2021, I believe. Trios. Trio. Trio. Great. I want a trio and I want one now. Oh, the more. Or commercials. <laughs> On Tuesday we had Sports for Nantix at 1.30 with Jackie. Our first live podcast of 2022. Well, I hope, I hope it went well. Mm-hmm. So coming up next today from Heathens at Home. Live lunch at 12pm at fo- fo- to 12.45pm right after, right after us, I think. You mean at lunchtime? After us is lunchtime. Live lunchtime. Isn't it? Oh. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> then the class cooking social is live today at one today. Today's today today they they're making salmon fish cakes with white chocolate chip cookies. Yum. Yum yum. Mm. So join Jackie and everyone else on the on the class cooking social today at one. Like my mouth water now. Coming up right now, we have a guest presenter with a craft to share with you guys. So far, we've had videos from myself, Mark, Helen Tuck, Helen Walsh, and Susan. Today, we have a video from one of these people, but who could it be this time? Mm. Hi, Heathens. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make magic pictures using a wax candle and some watercolour paint. Now I did share this activity on the blog last year so if after watching the video you want a bit of a reminder you can always have a look at the blog post as well. But first off let's have a look at what we need. To make our magic pictures we need paper. I'm using watercolour paper because it's quite nice and thick but you could use thin card. It will work on thinner paper you just have to be aware that with all the water it might buckle slightly. I'm going to need either a white wax crayon or a wax candle. I'm using a candle here, you can see. I'm going to need some watercolours or very watered down acrylic paint, some brushes and some water. So now that we know what we need, let's get making. When we're making our magic pictures, Our white wax crayon or our candle acts as a resist. So wherever we put the wax, the paint won't be able to go. And you've got to use your imagination a bit because obviously being white, it's not going to show up on the white paper. But that's part of the fun. That's what makes it a little bit magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a shape on here and I'm going to do a moon shape. So I'm using the bottom of my candle and I'm pressing nice and hard so that I get a good thick layer of wax and I'm drawing a moon shape. You can't really see what I'm doing but you will be able to and I'm gonna put in some crossing lines to make little stars like so I think we'll try one up here. So I'm thinking about where my lines are. I can't really see them because I'm using wax onto white paper, but I'm thinking about where they're going and planning my design as I go. Now for the magic bit. I'm going to use my watercolours to bring my design to life. 
So I've got here a nice dark blue, and you remember I did a moon shape. So making sure I use plenty of water, I'm going to start putting it on. And can you see where the wax is? The paint can't get to. It's acting as a resist. So I'm going to add a bit more on. And it doesn't matter if I go over my lines, that's how I'm going to find them. There we go. So there's the top of my moon, there's the sides. I'm using plenty of water. And I'm using quite a nice thick brush so that I can get plenty of paint on there. So you can see my stars coming out. So those were the lines that I did. There we go. And I'm going to use a different brush and a slightly different colour. So remember I said I was thinking about where my lines were going. So although I couldn't see them when I was drawing, I was thinking about where they were going so that I could have a bit of a play with colours. So I'm putting in a little bit of yellow for the moon. And I think I'd like a bit more variation in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of purple. Um, thinking about our colour mixing rules, to make purple we need a blue and a red. So I've got a little bit of red on here, a little bit of blue, a bit more blue, make a nice dark purple. And I'm going to add that in, let it mix in with my dark purple. Get a little bit of a different tone there and there we go easy as that magic pictures now if you're not very confident about being able to make a shape there's no reason at all why you couldn't do something really abstract you could just work your way around your bit of paper making some vaguely circular shapes like so so I still can't see what I'm doing, but I know that I've got some circles on there. And then what I can do is pick a colour and start putting it on. And then where those shapes are, they start to emerge. And then I might have a different colour. There we go. And I think we'll have a bit of green in there. And so you can see those random circles that I drew ever so quickly are starting to show up as I add my lines of colour. So don't worry about being able to draw something. You can still make really nice effects just using a random shape and some different colours. Have a bit of a play around, have fun, and don't forget to show us how you get on. As you have seen this week, we have had Helen Walsh showing you how to make magic pictures. It's very fancy, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm like, I wasn't able to do that when I was a kid. <laughs> Maybe something we can do. Maybe. What and who we will have next week, uh, I wonder. Mm. Mm. Still to come this week, we have. Mm. Oh, <laughs> quiz of the week results on Thursday with Helen at, at one. Remember that the quiz sheets are emailed out on Thursday morning with the Heathens at Home daily email. So you have all morning to fill in the answers, then join Helen at one. To get the answers before b before I can go any further, I'll need to go over the rules again for 2022. Oh, yeah. yeah. So remember, <laughs> no, no Googling, no cheating, be honest with your answers. Or the following punishments will be taken out to the back and shot, <laughs> whipped, put in the cupboard. Getting poked with a stick. Getting poked with a stick. Uh, getting chucked in duck pond. Or get dumped at landfill. <laughs> or dumped in landfill, or tumbleweeded, or sniped, or whatever we can make up. 
I'll, I'll get, get arrested. <laughs> also on Thursday, we have. We have the signing. This week at a one with Paula. Ethan's book club with Jeanette and Susan is on Thursday as well. On Friday, to start the day, we have Maria's workout at 10.30. And Ethan's live this week with Spiff and Mark at 1.30. Oh, I've been in business. That's enough. That's enough. Enough. You're getting kind of worried. So. Featuring the ever popular art kit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I lost. <laughs> lost myself. The art, art showcase extreme to the max, featuring all the. All the photos of the week at Heathlands, uh, of, like, I can't remember. Heathlands Habitat. Heathlands Habitat. The Great British Wood Great British Wood of course we don't want to forget that. <laughs> we'll never forget the Wood would we? You don't forget the Wood Now, which brings us to the main event of the Heathlands at Home broadcast. The most popular part of the Heathlands at Home broadcast. I have another new brilliant book to read, read to you this time more, more wholesome than the other ones. Now, seeing as how this is the first one of this year, and seeing as how it's my birthday today, you're reading it. No, oh, you're reading it. It's your well, birthday, you're well, reading well, it. <laughs> no, but this is more wholesome this time. Not, nothing about you know what. I know, but it's my birthday today. You're reading it, no matter what what, what day it is. <laughs> oh, you, th 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 thanks, Mark. What was that? <laughs> I thought we were done with that. <laughs> you were. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take an, another video of it next year. <laughs> so, so anyway. For the first book of 2022 Two. is the, the Tiger Who Came to Tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie, Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mum said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mum said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them all in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. The cakes. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one, one bun. He didn't eat two buns. He didn't even eat three buns. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen 
to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard and he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of and all of daddy's beer Dog tiger <laughs> And all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. So his mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger is eating it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunken all the water in the tap. Run, run out of water. <laughs> Just keeps flowing. I don't know, it's magic. <laughs> Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll all put our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark, and all the street lamps were lit. It was lit. It was lit. <laughs> <laughs> and all the cars had their lights on, and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausage and chips and ice cream. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's make me angry now. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, Sophie said... Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. <laughs> but he never did. Too random. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's that tiger think he is just coming, coming in and then just eating, eating all their food and then not coming back after that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's why they 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 actually named a beer called Tiger. <laughs> Drank all the beer. <laughs> uh, for the, for those of you watching this, don't if, if a tiger asks to come to tea, um, uh, uh, don't bother. Don't let him in. <laughs> don't don't let him in. <laughs> so we are back again the same time next week and with another awesome book to read to you guys have a great rest of your week stay safe stay happy and stay hopeful for the new year and we'll see you all again soon bye, bye. happy new year, happy new year. <laughs>